Um, we've got three more questions. So Sounds Scott good. in uh, Illinois, the good Colonel. What's up? <laughs> hey, thank you, Scott. Ky- Kyle, again, this has just been awesome. Yeah, I don't want to follow this last, uh, you know, bit of uh, uh, knowledge here, but um, I- let me throw a little different one at you. So I- I've got a 18 year old son. Yeah. Um, he was diagnosed with autism at very young age, like two and a half. Yeah. And it's been very interesting to watch uh, his life through that perspective, yeah. um, just how he looks at things. And he didn't really get into art until probably junior high and senior mm-hmm. high. But what has really inspired him now is um, artwork on the computer. So he's not a graphic artist, but what he does is design a lot of structural things like he really has a fascination with like uh, buildings and construction and things like that. And but he'll put things that are really unconventional. Um, they don't make any sense, like a pipe that goes to nowhere. And it's it's beautiful, like the way he does it. And um, and he's going to head off to college uh, in the fall and get into TV and film production because oh, awesome. uh, the, the movies that he films are very unconventional, too. And he just has a a different way to think about things. So if you had a classroom of of kids these days, um, they don't have to be on the spectrum, you know, just a bunch of kids interested or who are dabbling in art um, and you're the mentor in front of that classroom. What are you telling them um, to do and, and how are you continuing to inspire their lives to maybe continue in this direction for the next five, 10 years or so? Yeah, I mean, I think, each person and how you have to to inspire them would would be different so i'd be pretty pretty personal with with the students but it's really just about this person gave me this advice one time and he said look at enough art to get inspired but don't look at enough art to to make it so like look at enough art and look at enough inspiration and inspire yourself but when you go to make it don't look at enough where you're making something like the art you're lo- you're looking at. And for your son, I love the unconventional, the pipes in different places, because um, I'll have to get his name for you next time I'm at the golf course. But uh, where I play golf, there was actually an artist and he became, you know, he became pretty famous and he would his whole form of painting was painting like unconventional golf holes. So he would it would be like this huge, beautiful waterfall and like just crazy scenery with a, with a green and a golf hole in the middle of it, or like a perspective of like just amazing perspective. So when you said that about your son, I was like, Oh, he's definitely really good because he's doing something that most people can't even get to in their life. Like doing something that makes other people feel uncomfortable and that, people will tell you isn't right, but he's making it look right. That that's art, like doing something that doesn't necessarily make sense, but it, it does make sense because you did it a certain way. So, I mean, I guess to circle back to the question, I would just, I would just tell my students to do everything and anything that they want to do until they find something that they look at and they're like, this is it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Of course. Awesome.